The Upper West Region NDC caucus in Parliament says the Ghana Health Service commenced recruitment processes for the positions of district health directors in November last year with 116 applicants vying for 71 positions. The group says eight of the applicants were shortlisted from the Upper West Region for a written exam with the highest score of 77% emerging from the region. The group alleged that the eight applicants were disqualified after a face-to-face -face interview on grounds of lacking knowledge on the management of health directorates and epidemics, as well as financial and human resource management. Describing the situation as unfair during a press briefing, the Upper West NDC caucus in Parliament accused the Ghana Health Service of sidelining the region in the recruitment process. We consider the recruitment process as unjust, unfair, discriminatory, unreasonable, and abuse of the rights of the applicants. It must be emphasized that this process is very irregular and inappropriate, to state the least. It also presents very unfavorable implications. At first, it is a disincentive to staff who dedicated themselves to serve in one of the most deprived regions of this country. All of us know that Upper West is one of the most deprived regions where people don't even accept posting. And this is what they will be treated. It, is also, it also communicates the unfortunate impression that the staff in the region are undeserving of such appointments and can thus negatively affect the staff turnover in a region that is already struggling with staffing deficit. We deem the situation as a deliberate orchestration which is condescending of the people of the Upper West region. The conduct of the Ghana Health Service is an affront to the rights of the applicants and a violation of the 1992 Constitution of Ghana. The caucus called for a review of the recruitment process by the Ghana Health Service to ensure regional balance. We are therefore calling on the Ghana Health Service to ask a matter of agency conduct a review or audit of the recruitment process and take the necessary remedial steps. A key aspect of this is to reconsider the applicants from the region and grant them their due. We are also calling on the Ghana Health Service to take the necessary steps to fill or to fill the vacant positions in the region to ensure smooth delivery of health service. Again, we require a great deal of transparency in conducting such recruitment as opposed to this opaque process giving rise to rise suspicion of underhand dealings and unfair maneuvering to the disadvantage of the Upper West region. The group threatened to petition the Health Committee of Parliament to probe the recruitment process if the Ghana Health Service fails to heed to their demand. This, if it is not addressed immediately, we would draw the attention of the Health Committee, the body that supervises health service delivery in this country to investigate why the Upper West region was not represented in this appointment process. I think that is one and the immediate thing we will do. The Upper West Region NDC caucus in Parliament is calling on the Ghana Health Service to consider reviewing its recruitment process for district health directors to ensure regional balance. The group threatened that if the Ghana Health Service fails to do so, it will be compelled 
to call on the Health Committee of Parliament to probe the process. Reporting from Parliament, my name is Ni Ayukwe Okain for City News.